Hey guys, this is the Beditor Editor. I'm coming at you with like a uh, Red Dead Online 16 things that you may not have known about the summer update. I was contemplating doing something like this, but I feel like I can make it work. I went and I found some things out and, and some things that, you know, many people might not know and some things, you know, that you might be confused on. I'll cover in this and then just some general things that you may not have known will be featured in this video. Before I start though, I want to thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers. I just hit that, I think, today. I'm growing extremely fast, way faster than I could have ever imagined. One month ago, I had 200 subscribers. A month later, I have 10 times that. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Shout out to Street Ghost and NZ420 Glitcher. Those guys are some really nice guys. They make similar content to what I make. Not e exactly the same, but pretty similar. They're some extremely nice guys, though, on a real note. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so for number one, we're going to go over how to change your character's appearance now a lot of people didn't know how to do this you just press left on the d-pad and go down to online options and at the bottom you're gonna see change appearance you can go right into this and change certain things about your character uh, pretty much how it was whenever you first started Red Dead Online. Now, the only thing that I don't think you can do is I don't think you can change your character's sex. I don't think you can go from male to female or vice versa, which is quite unfortunate. Your first time changing your character's appearance is free, but after you do that, it will cost you 10 gold bars, as you can see right here. I went and did it just for you guys. Whenever you do it your first time, make sure that you really change something that you want to change. You know, I'm really not wanting to change my character too much, so I was just going through this to see how much it would cost your second time, because I knew for a fact it wasn't going to be free every time number two a lot of people don't know how to do this uh, it is something in the game it's in the outlaw pass you can get a, a horse mask a lot of people do not know how to apply this horse to um, <laughs> apply this horse to your mask. a lot of people don't know how to apply this mask to your horse i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into a stable uh, any stable around the map you want to go in there and then you want to click on manage owned horses and then click the horse that you want to put the mask on and then go to saddles and then click that specific saddle that you have on your horse um, and what that's going to do is at the bottom you're going to see an option that says masks I personally did not have a mask yet at this point of recording the video, uh, so there's not one that I can demonstrate putting on, but that's where you would go if you have one and you want to put it on. Number three, there are now vehicles, quote unquote, vehicles in Red Dead Online that you can get. You may have noticed this in the stable if you back out. It says manage owned vehicles or, or vehicles, something like that. It says something like that. Yes, there are like wagons you can get. There's two different ones. There's only two as of right now, but I assume they're going to be adding a lot more of vehicles like this. We might end up even seeing some crazy stuff in the future there is a bounty hunter wagon and then there's the hunting wagon for the uh the trader role the bounty hunter one i think is for putting multiple people in the in the back of it so you can carry multiple bounties for the bounty missions that have two targets instead of one the hunting wagon is for putting multiple animals onto the wagon but you have to reach a certain role rank to be able to even purchase these and they are two trader tokens a piece and roughly about a thousand dollars it's like 875 for each vehicle. Number four, um, if you guys already don't know this, this is a pretty obvious one, uh, movement is a lot more snappy. It feels way more responsive. If you're running full sprint and you let go of the analog stick, you will stop pretty much as soon as you let go of the analog stick. Walking, jogging, sprinting, all of the above, you will stop as soon as you let go of the analog stick pretty much. Uh, used to, whenever you would be walking, your character would kind of just mosey for about a half second, maybe a little bit longer, and it was a little bit annoying because you couldn't really stop on a dime like you can now. Number five, uh, you shoot guns and reload guns and aim guns a lot faster. As you can see right here, I'm using the carbine repeater, and I am basically rapid firing it. It's like I have double tap. It's like one shot after another. It's pretty quick. Uh, you do this with every gun in the game, pistols, bolt action rifles, repeaters, every gun in the game. You'll be shooting and just using it a lot more efficiently. Number six, if you have the ultimate edition for this game, um, which was, like gave you bonuses and stuff for the first level, for the first 20 levels, and so on. Uh, you get a free horse uh, for the bounty hunter role. It is a it is a war horse called the Breton. It costs I think it's like one or two trader tokens, but it, it doesn't cost any money after that. You just have to unlock it with trader tokens, and there you go. You have it uh, technically for free. It does cost trader tokens, like I said but you don't have to pay anything after you unlock it with the trader tokens. But you have to have the ultimate edition of the game to be eligible for this. Number seven, I wanted to make this one very clear. The reinforced lasso does not guarantee that your bounty targets will not escape. I thought it did. I thought if you held the target, they would not escape ever, which I would be very wrong for assuming that because as you can see in this gameplay right here, I was AFK. I put my controller down to go make something to drink. 
and I come back and I'm just standing there and the target's gone and I'm like, what is going on? I don't know. I was using the reinforced lasso, so I figured it would just be invincible to, to them getting away. I was wrong. I was fooled. So if you guys want to save some money, this thing costs like $350. I would recommend just not getting the reinforced lasso, to be honest. Unless this was a glitch, perhaps. I don't really think it's worth the $350. You could probably just use the regular lasso and get along just fine with the bounty missions. Number eight, you loot bodies extremely fast now. Back before the summer update, I did not even loot bodies. I didn't even bother with it because it took too long to loot each individual body. It took like a whole five seconds just to loot one body. Now you can loot three bodies in five seconds. It's extremely quick. I'm going to show gameplay of me doing it right now. It's extremely fast the way you do it. I really love what they did with this. Number nine, the dog for the trader business does not come with the trader business. You have to buy it separately from Crips himself and it is not cheap. The cheapest breed is like $275 and the most expensive is like $400. It's a pretty, it's a pretty expensive thing if you don't have a bunch of glitched money. It will help you out though from getting raided and whatnot but it is pretty expensive and I thought it came with the uh, I thought it came with the business but it does not come with the business you have to buy it separately number 10 you can buy or steal supplies for the trader business but before you can you have to donate enough materials in order to source that supplies if you get what I'm saying this confused me at first I thought you could just straight up buy materials and supplies all at once and it would just work in the background no you actually have to physically go get the stuff for your business in order to buy supplies to make that into product to sell if you get what I'm saying hopefully that clears up a little bit of confusion because it did confuse me quite a bit number 11 the location of the collector lady has changed for some reason for me I, I cannot find her I went to the spot where she usually is I, f I went online and I found where she was she is not there. I read some stuff online saying that she is uh, near Thieves Landing or McFarland's Ranch. I went all around there and I could not find her. Please let me know if this is happening to anyone else. She is just not on the map and it's really important because I need to find her to buy maps and I cannot find her at all. If you guys know where she's at, like the exact location, please let me know in the comments and if it's correct, I will pin your comment. I'll do that as soon as I can. I'm probably going to be going to bed as soon as this video releases, but I will pin your comment if it is correct. Um, or if they fix this, hopefully soon, because this is quite annoying. I could not find her. I don't know where she's at. There's no, th there's nothing on the map, and I couldn't really find too much online about this. Number 12, if you can find the collector lady, you can purchase maps from her that show you the exact locations of certain collector items. Um, if you guys are having trouble finding stuff naturally. Now, it doesn't show you exactly where it is, but it gives you like a general area. It's like a treasure map. It works exactly like a treasure map. Number 13, um, if you guys don't want to be bothered with players too much and you can't do a solo lobby glitch, I can help you out with that a little bit. This has worked since before the update, but if there's any new players seeing this that don't know about this, I'm going to explain it for you. It'll only take a few seconds. What you want to do is you want to go to a place that is as far away as the place that you want to go do work at as possible so let's say you want to go do bounty missions in new austin uh, you guys want to spawn in lemoyne and what's going to happen is once you spawn in lemoyne you're going to fast travel to like tumbleweed for example or armadillo wherever you want to go in new austin it's the same thing if you want to go to lemoyne spawn in new austin then fast travel to saint denis or Rhodes or whatever whatever it may be it will cost you about ten dollars for the fast travel fee it will keep you away from most people now there there might be some people doing the same trick so if you go to the town you might see a fellow or two there don't worry typically they are nice people and they're doing it to stay away from people as well so they probably won't bother you but if they do just try to swap sessions and do the same thing it does cost about ten dollars every time you want to do this but a few bounty missions you'll have that ten dollars back and and then some really quick. Number 14, if you guys did not know this, they tweaked the prices for valuables. They made them where you can sell them for a lot more. Typically, the platinum pocket watch, you would get like three or four dollars for it. You would not get much at all for it. Now you get like eight dollars per platinum pocket watch. And you guys can look up like locations of jewelry and get a pretty penny for finding jewelry now. This update has raised the prices for that a good bit. Number 15, defensive mode has been tweaked a little bit. You take a lot less damage from players and uh, in some cases I believe you can actually go through people like it's passive mode in GTA Online. I was experimenting with it myself and it was like if I had a bounty on the back of my horse I could go through people. Like I could just go through them straight up. I don't know if this works all the time but it was working for me at one point and then sometimes I would not be able to go through people. I don't know it was a little bit different but uh, I haven't had one person try to bother me while I was in defensive mode at all. 
Unfortunately, I have no gameplay of someone shooting at me to test out how much damage you actually take from it now because I didn't have no one on to really ask, yo, can you help me out with a video? I really I didn't have nobody on at this time. I was getting footage for this at like 4 or 5 a.m. my time. Number 16, you can technically get your gold back for the uh, Outlaw Pass. The only downside is, is you have to actually complete all the tiers, but you have all the way until November 18th. Uh, because on this page right here, it says that you can get up to 15 gold bars by completing all the tiers. So you, in the long run, will get your 35 gold bars back for purchasing the Outlaw Pass. I haven't purchased it yet, but I probably will because there is some interesting stuff in there. And it'll just give me something else to do in the game. And one honorable mention for number 17 is to subscribe to the Better Editor on YouTube. I will be coming at you guys with guides and glitches as soon as they come out, as soon as I can possibly make a video for it. Just turn on my notifications and sub to the channel if you guys really want to see some Red Dead videos and all kinds of just information about this update in general. I do GTA videos as well, but I just haven't been doing them as recently just because this update has came out and I've been really working my butt off trying to get Red Dead videos out for you guys because of this, uh, because of this update. Hopefully this video has really helped you guys a lot with some stuff in here. Uh, once I know a lot more about this update for messing with it for a few more hours or a few more days or whatever I'll be coming at you guys with different guides on like how to make money quicker with each roll how to rank up each roll as fast as possible and just little things like that I'll be coming at you guys with plus like money glitches or if there's any type of trader token glitch or anything along those lines I will be making a video on it pronto if you guys don't like glitching you can still sub to the channel because I make legitimate guides as well I personally do not like glitching but I do like making videos on it because they perform extremely well on the channel that's essentially it for the video if you guys watch this video all the way through thank you guys so much and thank you guys again for 2,000 subscribers it blows my mind how quick I'm growing and just how many views and stuff I'm getting so quick it is insane thank you guys so much for all the support and stuff that was 16 things you may not have known about the summer update in Red Dead Online if you guys like this video give it a like if you dislike this video give it a dislike if you guys want to see more videos like this like Red Dead Online videos or GTA Online videos Go ahead and hit the sub button because you will see more. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.